My name is Yomotar Sekehorn, and this is the Mirror of the Truth. So, you consider yourself a spiritual person? Fine for you. But did you know that if you are not vegan, you are hypocrite? You are plain lip service. If you are claimed that you are a spiritual person, and you say that you are also a peace-loving person, then you must know that if you are not vegan, you are a spiritual hypocrite. Why? Oh. You can't say anybody's on their own journey. But when you are putting violence into your own body, you are absorbing bad energy, bad karma. Negative. Chi. You're not making this world a better place. By just talking and doing nothing. The way you can make this world a better place is by going vegan. Veganism affects so many aspects. Your diet can do so much more than your voting. You vote. If you are not vegan, you are basically the reason for world hunger. What? No. Any to second the child star from starvation. We feed around 70 billion land animals. We have only around 7.8 people, a billion people on the planet. So do the math. We have nearly 10 times. As much of the animal species we consider to be food. Far more cows, far more chickens. You cannot imagine even if you, if you want to have a picture. And can you show you pictures from factory farms? If you want, I mean, I have done in uh, many of the other videos. But that even has you not show the total amount of terror. Did you see when you are on that place yourself? If you consider yourself a wise, spiritual person, maybe, you should understand that peace begins on the dinner table by what you put in your body on a daily basis. Animals are living beings. They are anima, anima, breathed, life, spirit. They are want to be free, want to be happy, just like you, just like me. You don't have to be a smart guy or girl. To understand that any living being followed his life just as much as you follow your life. I think. You don't want to be hanging upside down and let somebody cut your throat. Like they do in the concentration camps refer so euphemistically as slaughterhouses. A house of solder. Why does it even exist? Specifically, when most people say they understand right or wrong. Why not stop it? You can do something about it. You can make a change. Supply and demand, capitalism. Anytime you give your money to those industries, those industries have more money to produce more animals, to artificial inseminate, which is a nice word for rape, billions of cows and pigs and chickens. You can make a difference for them by being vegan and try to inspire other people to do the same thing. Let them stand up for what they write. 
stand up against the systematic oppression of your time. Stand up against systematic victimization. Black people like William Lloyd Garrison did too in his time against his race. Something is legal does not mean it is right. And as a spiritual life of person, I think you know that. Because if you are a true empath, you'll feel the pain of others. So, if you are then consuming the pain of others by consuming the animal body parts, why the heck are you? wants to enforce that pain onto yourself also. Because that's what your empaths always say, that you feel the pain of others. Your spiritual people. That you feel the views of others, that you feel the energy of others. So do you not feel the terror and the pain and the suffering of the animals you consume? Their adrenaline, their Hormones, the pain, the suffering, the fear. That's all what you consume when you are eating animals. So, go vegan. And eat things that are not well eat. Things that have never had one power or movement. Now if I have a mother, a brother, a sister, a daughter, or a son, eat plants. Because they cannot suffer. They have no central nervous system or brain. can therefore not experience pain. So, comparing animals, living beings, to inanimate, is ridiculous. As and shows how much of a pseudo intellectual and pseudo spiritual person you are in fact evolved. Go be. And spread the word of non-violence to all innocent 